This bicycle sculpture is no easy task to move. Mainly transportation is the main issue, ironically. The artists of Double Archway had to spend money to get their creation to Glendale's Jazz and Blues Festival. This is one example of how featured artists who show their work at festivals like this contribute to the local economy. We have to rent trucks, we have to rent equipment, we stay at local hotels. These artists teamed up with a bike repair shop in California to recycle unused bike parts into sculptures, combining community, art, and entertainment. We love it when people laugh or you know appreciate the ridiculousness of it. That's what we were going for. <laughs> Definitely, that's also our payment. When people enjoy it and wander through it and uh, really experience the environment of it. Wow, look at that. Now, a second team of featured artists here at the festival rents most of their display from local businesses. Can we just go check oh, yes. it out? This is Poda Poda. This is where you take a photo. It is a duet of jazz and blues sounds between a portable toilet, and a Japanese photo booth. Let's take a shot together. We wanted to create a piece that was about the mundane and the memorable. So you take a, like a you know, a photo moment and a moment that you go to the bathroom and put them together. We thought it would be kind of funny and unusual. We got two, but we got to draw on one. Moving this around could be costly and clumsy, so that's where stores right here in our community benefit. Like the red carpet and the red velvet rose, those were, we rented that from a company, a local company. The porta potty was brought to us, and we were renting that. We paid for that to be here. Okay, besides the economic factor, this functional art can also be motivating. A lot of people, they don't know where to go. So public art kind of gets them, whets their appetite. And hopefully they get interested and they'll go, you know, maybe I want to see more art. Finally, the Blues Garden. This is a third piece of artwork featured at the festival. It's where plants and stones made of denim respond to touch with music. You see, each plant has a sensor inside that feeds a signal to a computer. Uh, their sounds, their sort of abstracted language, something like what you're hearing in the background where they're a combination of natural sounds and voices uh, and instruments. The artists collaborated on this project from across the country and they say art is a small grassroots investment with big rewards. Bringing people into town, getting people um, walking around, they come in, they stay overnight at a hotel, they spend money at restaurants. 